Hey, what's good everybody? Today I want to do a video on the pros and cons of living in the city of brotherly love known as, also known as, excuse me, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, my hometown, my place of birth, okay, where I, I was raised as well. I just want to give you some pros and cons if you're going to move to Philadelphia or even if you're in the same league as me, you know, you were born and raised there and you just want to listen in, feel free. You know, just try to get a different perspective. But if you're going to move to Philadelphia, let me tell you what the pros and cons are. Okay, as a former resident and as a, you know, native of that particular city. Now, the surrounding region, which includes the suburbs of Philadelphia, southern New Jersey, and northern Delaware, and a little bit of Maryland, more specifically Cecil County, Maryland, that's considered the Delaware Valley, okay? So if you hear me referring to the Delaware Valley, I'm not only just talking about Philadelphia, but I'm also talking about the surrounding region as well. But let's focus in on Philly. All right. Um, in terms of Philadelphia, the pros, let's start with the pros. One, it's a very walkable town. Okay. It's a very walkable city. Okay. It's not like where I'm at. I'm here in Arizona where you take one city block was equal to about three or four blocks in Philadelphia, okay? And you're just on one city block out here. It's not as easy as to walk to the store. Out here, you really need a car, okay? So that's the difference between the two, but we're talking about Philly. We're not really talking about Arizona, but I may refer to some stuff since I'm out here, okay? But let's talk about Philadelphia, okay? It's conveniently located, you know, in different neighborhoods you know the neighborhoods all have like mom and pop corner stores they also have national food chains and national other groceries and department stores and things of that nature um it's easy to get to certain places our transportation system there which is called SEPTA which stands for the South Eastern Pennsylvania Transportation Authority it basically goes everywhere in the Delaware Valley for the most part OK, it goes it goes to the rural areas, the suburban areas, um, the middle class communities, the hoods, you know, SEPTA pretty much. And, and it goes in one part of New Jersey, which is the state capital, which is Trenton. OK, you, if you follow me now. That's that's one pro. Um, that, that was another pro. Um, what did I talk about? I talked about the streets. I talked about the mom and pop convenience stores. I talked about the public transportation. Also, another, another pro is that we have a lot of national historic attractions and history and museums here. The museums are pretty good. The restaurants are phenomenal. Some of the best cooking I've had. And I've been all over these United States where the best um, cooking, hands down for me, in my humble opinion, is Philadelphia is philadelphia now i know a lot of you all know that philadelphia is known for its cheesesteaks okay the cheesesteak sandwiches my recommendation would be is to go into the neighborhood spots you know like max's in north philadelphia on the north side of town or out on the west side of town larry's okay you want to go look up those places that's where you're going to get a good cheesesteak but i definitely recommend max's right there on germantown avenue near broad and erie I recommend that place there. Okay, so that will be another pro. Okay, another pro of being in um, Philadelphia is that in comparison to Boston, New York, Washington, D.C., out of those major uh, metropolitan cities, Philadelphia is not that expensive compared. It's, they, we do have some pricey neighborhoods in Philadelphia, but at the same token, we have, you know, some very affordable ones as well. Okay, so that's that's the pro to that. Okay, if you follow what I'm saying. Okay, so that's another pro. And in terms of um, what else? Let me think of another pro that we do have. Oh yeah, the park. Our park system is easy to get around um, once you know what you're doing. 
you know, we have the largest park system in the country, which is called Fairmount Park, from my understanding of it. It's very family oriented, very fam child friendly. You know, it's for elderly people. If you want to walk your dog, you want to go jogging, you know, you can go, go to Fairmount Park. And Fairmount Park covers, like most of the city, it goes into like the north side of town, west side, um, and some of the northwest communities. So Fairmont Park is pretty much a, a large park system. Okay. Now let's think of some other pros that I can recommend if you're going to come near. Okay. If you're coming by plane, you know, we do have a transportation system. SEPTA does go to the airport and you can get on SEPTA and go into town. Okay. That, that's another pro. You have access to that. You have access to the train stations, the bus stations, right downtown. Downtown is very laid out um, properly and very well planned. Okay, the, the civil engineers who made up our downtown area, which is called Center City, kudos to them. Okay, so that's, that's another pro of being in Philadelphia. Okay, and let me think of some other pros real quick while while we're here talking okay uh pr um another pro in my opinion i would say is um what can i say oh yeah the hospitals now we got a lot of hospitals here okay so if you get hurt you know you get to the hospital in my opinion the best hospital Inside the city limits, well, Philadelphia, in my opinion, I'm going to say is the University of Pennsylvania Hospital. I think they're 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 a pretty good, good hospital. Osteopathic, I used to like when I was a kid until they closed down, until they shut down. But UPenn, as we call it, or Penn Hospital, they're pretty good. Children's Hospital, if you have an issue with your kid, Children's Hospital is the place to go. I'll say that the colleges, and I'm not just talking just in side philadelphia proper but throughout the delaware valley we got some of the best colleges in the country you know we got university of penn which is an ivy league school we got la salle we got saint joseph's villanova uh temple university we got la salle university and even penn state has a couple of uh, branch campuses on the outskirts which is also my alma mater by the way we have um, they're in the outskirts of Philadelphia in the suburban counties. Okay, and I'll, on another video, I'll talk about which counties is which and which communities is what and all that. But let's talk about just Philadelphia in general. So that's another pro. So if you're interested in, you know, you want to go come to college, Philadelphia is a good place and the college is affordable. Community College of Philadelphia is pretty good. They have an extensive system and they have campuses all over the city you know they have campuses all over so we have that those that's a pro let me think of some other pros oh lots of festivals you know i know we're in a pandemic right now with the COVID 19 but once this is done and we go back to our normal lives philadelphia is a good place to come for festivals you know like the fourth of july um festival on the benjamin franklin parkway near our art museum Okay, and then we have different arts festivals, music festivals, jazz festivals. If you're into jazz music, Philadelphia is the place to come to. So we have a lot of cultural and historic attractions in the city. Okay, so those are the pros. Now, let's get on to the cons. Okay, the first thing, and everybody talks about this, is the crime. Right now... It's now November 24th, 2020, and I'm talking to you all. The homicide rate right now, I just got to keep it real, is 400, I think we are up to 448 homicides. And for a city that's, the land area is 142 square miles and a population of 1.5 million, that's pretty high. That's pretty high. So, you know. My thing is this, if you're going to move to Philadelphia, please watch yourself at night walking around these neighborhoods. Even even in the uh, upper middle class communities, you still got to watch yourself because there's a lot of robberies and there's shootings all over Philly. And there's a joke that Philly, all, the entire city of Philadelphia is a hood, period. And not to scare you, but I'm just being real. Okay, so we have a crime issue. We have a crime, uh, serious crime problem. 
in Philadelphia. Some of the streets in Philly are dirty. I'm just I'm just keeping it real. Okay? And even some of our subway stations are dirty too. So I think that's an issue. Parking. Parking if all right, look, let me tell you something. If you've seen the show Parking Wars, you'll know what I'm talking about. But if you're going to Center City, downtown, to go to any event or if you want to go out to eat or whatever, please, if you can help it, do not park downtown. Get on SEPTA or get an Uber. You know, save yourself some trouble because the parking authority, they love to give out tickets. Okay, I think some of them get extra money on quotas and stuff to see how many tickets they give out but do not park downtown okay the parking i mean if you pay your pay your parking okay that's fine but sometimes some of them will even try to give you a ticket and you only been in 20 minutes but your your meter runs out in an hour they do slick stuff like that that's a problem that's a con in terms of parking okay uh what's another issue i have okay some of the people some of the people there, you got some with a serious, serious, lazy mentality. Okay? You know, I'll give you an example. When I, when I came in, one time I came in town to visit, okay, I was trying to run a car. And the guy at the car dealership, or, you know, at the car place where I'm trying to rent my car at, he acted like he had an attitude like, I said, I'm here to rent my car. He didn't even want to get up. Then he he gives me a car that was dirty. It wasn't kept up. I said, come on, man, this car, are you serious? Then he said, well, let me give you an upgrade. It was like a song and dance for him. And he felt like I was just asking him to move the Eiffel Tower. You know, it's that mentality, okay? And, this, and these are members of my culture that does do stuff like this. People of African-Americans, not all African-Americans do this, but I'm just saying, okay? And I'm gonna speak on that. You got some that... Now, another con in Philadelphia is if you're crossing the street and it's a green light and, it's, and you got the right of way, make sure you move fast because these people will run through stop signs, run through red lights and hit you. They, they infamous for that in Philadelphia. You know, there's a lot of hit and runs out here. Matter of fact, um, one of my neighbors um, was killed a couple of weeks ago from a hit and run. So you got to really watch yourself when you're crossing these corners. Look both ways and hurry up as fast as you can across that street so they don't hit you. You understand? That's that's another con. Uh, what else is another issue that we have here? We do have some low-key racism in Philadelphia. And that's everywhere in this country, but it's very passive-aggressive. Okay? We have a lot of that in Philadelphia um, with people both black and white on black and white sides and stuff now another con in the philadelphia area the delaware valley that we have is the nepotism that go on especially when you're trying to get jobs i know everybody's like it's all about who you know no it's all about who knows you okay who because you can know a lot of people i know i know people that work in like very high places i know some ceos and stuff doesn't mean that they're gonna help me so it's that type of thing. If you're not a member of a fraternity or sorority, or if your uncle or your aunt doesn't work in a prominent place or they're not cool with the top brass, forget it. Now, you may get in. I'm not disencouraging, but just expect not to be hired because of that. It's not always racism. It's more of a nepotism that go on, okay? And another thing in this culture, particularly Philadelphia, um, is the con is this, speaking of the workplace. They hire lazy people and punish the hard workers. That's, that's another mentality that goes on in Philadelphia. You know, like you can be working on a job, you know, you come in on time. Let's say your shift runs from 11 to 7 in the morning from 11 at night to 7 in the morning, you're there at 1030, you leave at 8 o'clock in the morning because you want to do a great job, then you got some guys that may come in at 1245 and clocking out at 5 in the morning or, or just clocking in and then leaving and going home, you know, and they're getting all the breaks and the promotions and stuff. And you're like, how? How? There's a lot of that goes on in Philly too, you know. 
And here's a problem I have, particularly with members from my culture. Let's say if, and I'm not, I'm not crapping on all white folks, because I got, I do have some genuinely white friends, okay, that's, they don't have that um, racist mentality or anything like that, and they would give me the shirt off their back. The, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm not talking to them. But let's say if I check a white person for doing something stupid, okay, you got some Negroes that will flip the hell out on me and cuss me out. And they'll cuss you out too for checking a white person. You know, we it's a lot of that in Philadelphia. I call them the Philadelphia Negroes. The Philadelphia Negro will cuss you out and even, even if they wrong, because white people can't do no wrong. And black people, we always wrong to the Philadelphia Negro. Okay? And, uh, and I hate to say it, and I'm not knocking all the elderly black folks, African-American elderlies, but some of y'all elders be on that, that mentality. Okay? You see a lot of that with them. Now, where I have a problem with, particularly with certain white folks in Philadelphia, is you, let's say you're the only black person in, in an all white, you know, all white um, social circle, whatever. And you got that one white person that want to squeeze lemon, you know, and they, and they can't apologize to you. They, they talking slick to you or they being disrespectful and you put them in their place. And then a few other of their friends want to jump on you. We have that a lot in Philadelphia. Now, also... We have some John Browns in Philadelphia too. You know, it, it's not the majority. And it, um, it's only like a small group of folks, but we do have some John Browns that will stand up against the bullshit. You know, who 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 will put a guy like that in, their, in his place. That is in Philadelphia. That's, that, that's not necessarily a, a con. But anyway, let's get back to the cons. Another problem in Philadelphia, I'm going to say is the erratic driving and the um, traffic, okay? Now, there's traffic in every other city and stuff, but they do have narrow lanes, but there's ways to get around that. So I'm gonna say that's somewhat of a con. I'm trying to think if it's another con. Well, depending who you talk to, but the school district, okay? The school system, a lot of people have a problem with. We got some good schools inside the school district of Philadelphia, and then we got some not so good school districts. And I was a previously, I was a teacher in the school district of Philadelphia. Now, the charter schools, there's some that are good and there's some that are not so good. Okay. So we have that. Another thing is the taxes. Now, if you work in a lot of places in Philly, if you live in the suburbs and you work in the city, they have this thing called like city work privilege. You get like this work privilege tax. You get taxed for that. And... Some of the social services, I'm going to be real, they stink. Like, let's say if you live in a uh, grass and tree, middle class area, you live in a single house, you don't live in a row home, and you got a bunch of raccoons in your backyard, you call the city, they're not, they're not going to come out and help right away. It could be months before they um, attack the problem. It's that, it's that type of mentality. Another thing, if you call for an ambulance... And you get hurt, they charge you five hundred dollars. Okay, trust me, I know. I've I got charged when my back went out on me. You know, and I had to go to the hospital. Okay, they charge five hundred dollars. Okay, that's another con in living in Philadelphia. Car insurance is pretty high when you live inside the city limits. Okay, that's another another issue in Philadelphia. So the problem. And there's also a tense relationship between African-Americans and the police department. So just if you're if you're a minority or African-American, just try to stay clear of the police. OK, because we still have a reputation. The Philadelphia Police Department has a very well deserved reputation for racism and discrimination and brutality. Matter of fact, uh, a young man was killed last month at the hands of the police. Go look it up. I think it was his name, Wallace Walker. Look it, look it up. So we have that. I'm trying to think. Uh, there's another con to living in the Philadelphia area. That's a con. Uh, 
Let me think. All right, it'll come back to me, but let's talk about, oh, it's another pro. Um, if you want to go to the beach and you want to have some fun in the sun with your loved ones or with your children, I mean, children are loved ones too, but we have what's called the shore. Basically, there are beaches in New Jersey and South Jersey, okay? And even Delaware has some beaches, but normally when we refer to the shore, we refer to places like Wildwood, New Jersey, Atlantic City, Ocean City, um, Cape May, that's considered the shore. So you, you can go down there during the summer months and when it's nice and warm, you know, you can go down there and go to some of the amusement parks and stuff and have some fun there. Um, we do have great adventure out here. You know, um, also, if you want to take a drive to Hershey Park and go to the Hershey factory and, and see how chocolate is made, that's a two hour drive from there. But in terms of amusement parks, we have um, Clementine Park. We have Dorney Park up in Allentown, which is only about 90 minutes from Philadelphia. Uh, we have Great Adventure over in Jackson Township, New Jersey. So those those are some pros that we have with that. And um, in terms of, okay, here's one that could either be a pro or con. We do get good, strong winters. Now, last year they didn't get any snow, but normally Philadelphia is a four-season um, area. So depending on who you talk to. Now, like out here, is, um, we got summer and we got summer light. Uh, pretty much like here in central Arizona now. You go northern Arizona, you're going to get all the uh, snow and snuff. Snow and stuff. Excuse me. You get four seasons. But in Philadelphia, there's four seasons. But it gets very humid in the summertime. You're going to get humid summers. You're going to get you're going to get that. Now, uh, let me think of some other, if there's any other pros and cons of living in Philadelphia. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. When it comes to business and trying to get things done, Philadelphia, this is a con. There's, there's like this obstacle and delay mentality. And it's not just Philadelphia, but the Commonwealth or the state of Pennsylvania, it's the same thing. You try to get stuff done, they give you a bunch of red tape, and you got to go through a bunch of hurdles just to get, um, get your business done. And the same thing when I was filling out my financial aid forms when I was in school, I had to, it, it took me weeks before I was able to get my financial aid. They get my student loans and my grants because they just love hurdles or somebody didn't do the paperwork right or you're missing this thing. They don't tell you everything, but you got to ask them, like, what exactly do I need? Well, if you need this, this form, you need this ID. What else? This. You always say, what else? How much? D that's what you do. And speaking of another con, my thing is this. If you get in trouble with the law here, they don't care about your well-being. Okay. All they want to know is when can you pay the fee? When can you pay the fine? If you do something wrong, it's all about the money. That's what they care about. Okay? That's all they care about. I've seen it. I've seen that happen. So don't get in trouble. If you come out here, try not to get in trouble with the law. Try not to get out, get in trouble with the law in um, Philadelphia. Um, what else goes on? Now, this is a con, and I'm not saying this all teenagers fall under this, but a lot of these young folks are very disrespectful and stand on the corner and they don't have respect for their elders. And then when you talk to their parents, their parents get defensive and defend their child like their child can do no wrong. That It's, it's that mentality that we have out, out in Philadelphia. We, we have that issue going on. So, you know, just try to be careful. Try not to say nothing to these young folks if you're a non-confrontational person. Now, if you know how to hold your hands or whatever, and you got to defend yourself, do what you got to do. Not that I'm advocating violence, because I'm not, or disadvocating it either. But do what you got to do. Um, what's another thing? I have Well, the library system. The library system in Philadelphia is pretty good. They have a lot of great books and information that you can get. The librarians, even if you say, never mind, I don't need help, they'll still bend over back you. Okay, I don't know what happened, but we get the librarians, they, they'll help you. You know, they will help you try to get the right books or the right information. They'll point you in the right direction. They will bend over backwards. I noticed that with these libraries here. Okay, so those are some pros and cons. And if anybody has any comments, go on. Feel free to comment below. 
if there's anything that I might have missed, you know, I might talk about it in another um, video, okay? But those are the pros and cons of living in Philadelphia. And I'm going to break down another part. I'm going to break down another part to you. You know, like the different parts of Philly and what's what, okay? All right, so take it easy and I'll see you later.